the first improvement I'd like to go over today is in the Sabre tracks. Now, in previous versions of Igniter, every single font folder had its own track folder and the tracks were stored there. Uh, the advantage of this was that each font could have a configuration uh, and customized experience for the tracks, uh, but then the disadvantage is uh, for folks that want to just play all their tracks, be able to access them, it would require them to switch to each font to get to the, the tracks where they are, or it would require them to copy every single track into every single font folder. And both of those aren't a deal. So to fix that in Igniter 2, what I've done is actually move the tracks into a root folder. So every single track you want just goes right under the slash tracks folder on the root. Um, but to maintain that individual experience per font, each font now has a config value where it can set which track it starts playing from. Uh, this allows the, each font to sort of jump into the track that's most relevant for it. For instance, uh, on this hill, my first font, the Father Selling, um, I've set the first track to be track 5, which is the uh, Emperor's Throne Room music, so that gives it sort of a personalized experience. But then my second font, which is standard issue, which is just the standard one, I go ahead and start right at the uh, first track, which happens to you know be the default the default sound. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, see that. And show the first font, Father Son. So let's uh, hold down the aux button to play the tracks. And there you can see it is the uh, throne room sound. Um, this is not the first uh, track file on my disc. It's number five. Of course, I can, do, I can still do Saber Cinema and use the use the Saber. And now let's go to uh, the second font, and you'll see here when I hold the aux button to play the tracks, it's just the main sound. So this allows a great way to have customization um, and ease of getting all the fonts on there. Another improvement in Igniter 2 is in the aux button functionality. Um, in Igniter 2 I've brought back the classic aux button, aux button functionality for the lockup and blaster block while still allowing holding the aux button and doing the dual phase motion to make the multiphase. So let's go over all of those. Uh, so, tapping it still does the blaster. Now, holding the aux button, it does the clash as it did in R4 and previous. Of course, dual face still is a dual face color. But now, if I hold the aux button um, and do the dual face motion before the lockup starts, it will still do the multi phase. So this makes a much better experience um, while it's still allowing the configurability of having how long you want to hold the button uh, and if you want the button to be held and then tap it again to turn it off or just hold an immediately release. Another improvement I want to go over is in the low power mode. Now this is a new mode so that when the saver's in idle um, after a configurable amount of time, so there's a new config uh, value you can set, um, after that amount of time, the action LEDs and the motion uh, will completely shut off, uh, saving a lot of power. And this is mainly useful for when going to cons, and then the, the saver's on the belt. And if you, at the cons, you don't want to put the kill key in, this saves a lot of power. Uh, now, this isn't, a, isn't like a deep sleep mode where you could leave it on the shelf for days like this. You will have to put the kill key in at night, but this is definitely great for a call. Uh, and now you can just see uh, that the uh, power went out. So that was the 30 seconds, which I have configured. Um, and after that, it goes out. And so the accent LEDs are off and the motion is off. Um, but now to get them back on, all I have to do is tap uh, the aux button. And that will replay my font. And then it will also turn the accents back on. And after 30 seconds, uh, these will go off again.
Now, the last feature I want to go over in Igniter 2 is the uh, motion activation feature. So, when the saber is in idle, uh, by performing the dual phase motion, uh, the saber will turn on. Uh, this just allows a hands free way to turn on your saber without pushing any buttons, just to kind of show off to friends and make it like a force on. Um, and one thing to note about this feature is when your low power uh, kicks in, then the motion won't be responsive anymore. It will require to tapping the aux button to turn it back on uh, for the motion to work. Otherwise, uh, simply doing the dual phase motion, it turns right on. 